Okay, we have an unusual situation that uh, we have a visitor that has a project that needs attention. So it looks like it's a black pine, and he said he lives in Cupertino. So we're going to have to modify a few things when we get to the soil, but basically uh, shaping of the pine is uh, the same. Looking at some of the good things, well, he hasn't touched it, so it's good. Yeah, and there was a lot of options. Yeah. And that's why I didn't want to make a mistake of cutting off the wrong option. And then having these branches that are not permanent is good. Uh, we call these the sacrifice branch, right? Okay. It's helping to fatten this area. And then, so we're going to keep it for a while. And then we're going to attend to the top. Okay, one of the first things we're going to do is to repot this, put some fresh, and first sign, bad. This is a screen that's too fine. So we put our traditional uh, bonsai type uh, screen, and then what I'm going to have to do is remember my soil mix is three parts compost, one part sand, one part lava rock. But because where he's from, we need more drainage. So I'm going to add more lava rock to it. That should take care of it. Okay, John is filling about a third of the bottom so that uh, the tree will come back up so that it's uh, slightly above the lip of the pot. John's been watching my videos and said, hey, where's the front? Oh, yeah, I guess we should get to it since I did tell I you to do that, right? Hey, man, he make a good assistant. <laughs> he knows what to do. <laughs> yeah. So I can just so this was the front. Thought about the front. I think that there were so many options here. I didn't want to go back seven years by cutting the wrong thing off, and that's why I'm here because I wanted to, to see maybe that's the front. And so if that's the front, then my pot is in the wrong direction. So then we'd have to cut the soil off and redirect it. So I don't know where the front is. I was like, okay, this looks pretty interesting. I love this, what's this called, Nibari? Mm -hmm. And I love that area. I get, I, and I kind of okay here, I get lost right around here. Oh, good. So I don't know what to do, and that's why I called you. Okay, we were in discussion. This one and this one is much too big. So we're thinking of cutting this, cutting this, and making one of these new apex. Okay, we cut this one off, and what I did was to save this so we could wrap around, get the movement, and then once this is in place, we could cut it off. You never know. Okay, now I'll go ahead and turn it again. Okay. And then we, we're going to determine where the front is, reposition it in the container, and then proceed on. I think that those two branches these two is really getting uh, confusing there so yeah. anyway we'll have a deep discussion and proceed on okay I think we got a position so he's gonna make the final tweak and start uh, adding more soil to it make sure the tilt is right always look from the front look from the side too sometimes that tilt is off so once that is decided, I think the do tilt, it. Yeah, the tilt is good. I don't want it more like that. I like that. Okay, uh, why don't we go ahead and spin it. We took off a few branches, but he's got the front marked. Then we'll see what we're gonna do here. Okay, that's our front.
Okay, so I think this is going to be about where it's going to be. So why don't we go ahead and spin it one more time. So the green marked the front and now we're coming around the side. This is the back. So now all he has to do is wait. And if he lives a long time, then he'll be <laughs> <great free. laughs> I could see another 15 years on this. This is in the center here. Okay, so here's the second one that he brought. And there's some problems. <laughs> but what I'm most interested in is in this container. This is a uh, a classical shigaraki pot, probably from the 70s, and might be even the 60s. Um, you can't find one of these anymore. Well, we got done. If you really wanted to see this, you should have been here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and spin it around. Yeah, on this one here, we were thinking more about weeping. See how when we weep the branches, it gets rid of those long runs that was kind of annoying. Uh, there should be more branches that come off in the future, but uh, that's about it for now. Probably another three, four years, so it should start to look like something. Okay, as I sign off, Today my mic is up in the air, uh, hopefully our sound was okay. But anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye, I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. So if you have um, trees that are in need, uh, contact me and we could do the same thing. Uh, being on YouTube is optional. John said he didn't mind, so that's why he's on here. Thank you. See you again.